Schröder. Not a pleasant way to die. Not a pleasant way to die, is it? Almost there. Still stuck. Did you miss a rope down there?
Here goes. These beams look fragile. Will they hold? Would you rather climb? If it were up to me, I wouldn't be here to begin with. Climbed higher or has the weather gone colder? The nightmare is at work. She's likely using the weather in New Eden to further isolate its people. Then once the curse is lifted, the snow will disappear. I think so. Attention! Nearby. Call on me. 
Ugh, I hate those things. Wasn't your first, won't be your last. Aye, thank you. These remains call for a ritual and a lot of caution. Feel something close. You've excelled of late, and you haven't crowed about it once. And your dives, did you? Don't get cocky. There's always more to learn. Key thing about a scourge? A scourge is made of many spectres merged. Not always. A harvester, for example, is a scourge born of a single spectre. A scourge will always seek a new physical body, often made of different materials. Very poor. Perhaps you'd prefer an easier question? On the nature of a ghost, perhaps? Ghosts leech the essence from those they haunt. Sometimes by asking irritating questions. That's right. And sometimes the living backchat. You hear that? Over here. A peaceful place in different times. Before the nightmare's influence, you mean? Let's reach the fort and a fire and warm you up. I'm picking up something spectral nearby. Trouble ahead. Spectres are attacking the fort.
hugging all the fun. That corpse is taking aim. I... Make it yield. That corpse is taking aim. Within gun range, Red. Hold there. None in, none out. Not living nor dead. Name's Red McCraith. I'm obviously a banisher. Open the door there. Of business within. Your business is, if you'll excuse my articulating the evidence, not my business. I have my orders. You can't come in. I hear you, friend. What's your name? The name's Andrew White. You seem a pleasant fellow. I like a Scot, me, but standing here, I'm on duty. And when I'm on duty, I'm not your friend. Uh, listen, mate. Folk in here have problems enough, and I can't be disobeying orders. Either Priest or Pennington would have my guts, and I fancy neither. Pennington knows me. He'll know I can help. I'm sure he does. But put one dead man down, and three come back next day. Round here, sweet victory fast turns bitter. Bottom line is... The captain is indisposed, and I'll not add your complications to the pile. Now, you want to lend a hand? Mrs. Priest and her party are overdue. You can't miss the outpost. It looks out across the valley. If you could find her, and make sure she doesn't die, you'd surely gain her favor. And favor, as they say, opens doors. Get in a fight and find your boss and dig her out of whatever hole she's in. All right. I can do that. They have spectre troubles. Let's first clear the nearby nest to relieve the fort, then deal with the missing. Right. I'll likely be back. Find our friends, Banisher. Or put them to rest. I'll try. As soon as I take care of the Spectre's nest, I'll go looking for the outpost. Death knocks at their gates. No wonder they won't open. They don't have a choice. Another attack may overrun them. The nest might be near. There's a trail to follow in the snow. More coming. Come and get your breakfast, boys. Get out of here. This isn't working. Why do I get the feeling that we're sick ducks? The fort will run out of powder. These pests don't spring from nowhere. Huh? 
Reinforcements! Fill in the hole. Bury them all. I should buy the fort a little time. Let's hope it's not too late for the famous Mrs. Priest. Looks like you're walking. Looks like. I wonder how many there are in the fort. If you were by the day, I'll wager. Still, better to be inside than out. They never learn, do they? The mountain is awash with spectres. Did the foraging party really come this way? That would explain why they haven't returned. Nearby. Help us, please. 
We have a survivor. Come. This one's not been dead long. Hmm. Let's hope he stays that way. Reinforcements! I have another in sight. has seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. A timely arrival. You'll be Haskell's banishers. Thank you. Thank you both. You can see me. Clear as day. Just as I can see. This is my husband. I am Helen Priest. And Thea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGraith. It is rare that the living can see the lingering dead. All I know is one day I woke after seven long years of grief, and my Sebastian was back. It was as if my prayers had at last been answered. That was enough for me. In times of danger, I am duty-bound to protect the woman I love. You understand? Seven years. Why come back now? It did not feel like seven years. Suddenly... I felt her pain calling to me. Divine intervention or otherwise, all that matters is that my dear Sebastian is back. Now, when I need him most. Andrew White sent us. He thought you might be in trouble. Plainly you needed your guardian angel. We needed more than one. Thanks to you. We'll resupply the camp. Matthews and Williams did not die in vain. This was a risky expedition. But Helen had no choice. If the survivors were to rely on Pennington alone, the fort would have already fallen. 
You're well capable of fighting the living, tis clear. It was reckless to think you could take on the dead. We have lost many of our comrades. We measured the risk. It was not reckless. Pennington did this while monsters relentless besieged the fort. But make no mistake, these men's deaths are on the captain's conscience. If he has one. How so? Seven years ago, a plague came to New Eden. Pennington quarantined the sick in the mines, walled them up. They were dark times. Hard times. None knew what the morrow would bring. We all lost much. Too much. As second in command, Sebastian volunteered to stay. Walled in with the others, he held out the longest. He died a hero. And now the Forsaken are rising. They demand revenge. Who would blame them? I watched them die. Soldiers and miners, sick and hungry, begging for help they knew would never come. Captain Pennington has much blood on his hands. I'm sorry. You've been through a lot. We have. We are, and will persist till we prevail. We should get back to the fort. We will escort you. I'm afraid I locked us in when I broke the latch. If there's a way out, we'll find it. Lock looks broken. I doubt that gate will ever open again. I love doing that. Impressive. You banishers are quite something. That's all her. Just the help. A banisher marched with my father's infantry. Good for morale, he said. Soldiers usually carry their ghosts with them. War is good for our business. I take it that's how you met. I know a soldier when I see him fight. I never worked for the army, but something like that. Sympathies. like him. Why did you follow him? I followed his reputation, but he's no longer the same man. What would you do in his place? I'm doing it. He sits behind his walls waiting for them to fall, and I'm out here fighting to live. We're fighting for our lives. The captain is in the way. These internal conflicts are a risk for the stability of the fort. A necessary risk for the survival of all. But I agree. This must end. You may leave the crates. I'll send someone back for them. Yeah, the path should be quiet. We cleared the area of the Spectre's Nest. Well, that's a relief. Follow me.
gates! Priests? What are you lot waiting for? Open the gates! Go talk to Pennington. Make him understand, if you can. Where can I find him? He hides in his office. You'll find them there. Where are the others? Williams and the other chap? Matthews. We were ambushed. They can. May God have mercy on their souls. Captain Bennington. No time. No way out. No hope. No way in. No time. No time at all. Captain Bennington, sir. Mr. McGrath, you live. There's work to be done. Work? You had work. A mission. To bring one last glimmer of hope. To gladden our hearts before the pit takes us all. You secretive bastards haven't helped. The job is done. There's no more hope and little enough time. All that remains is the pit. Welcome to the last stand, McGrath. Welcome to the end. I wouldn't surrender just yet, Captain. I found Helen Priest. We brought supplies. A waste of effort on both accounts. Hardly. We saved a life. Resupplied, you may save more. For the sake of what? For the sake of days? A week, perhaps? You save no one. You prolong the terror. The dead will come. Our throats will feel their bony fingers soon enough. The end is inevitable.
is if you will not act. You're the officer, take command. Surely you can't intend to do nothing. You sound like Priest. She has changed. Her return to Fort Jericho has made her impulsive, irrational, quarrelsome. I believe she did not fully grieve her husband's loss. Returning to the scene has, it seems, reopened the wound. It festers. She'll join the lieutenant soon enough. But now the fences crumble at the last. The pit shall take us all. How do things stand, Captain, as you see them? Uh, little has changed. The dead flood from the mines. We shoot them down and gain respite. Soon, the onslaught begins anew. The clock of our extinction ticks on towards the hour. We may no more defeat the dead than we may vanquish the ocean waves. Folk have little enough hope, and you're leading them further into the darkness. I've heard the whispers, the murmurs, the plotting from the shadows. We hold to the last. We resist, till retribution rises from the pit and drags us all to hell. Well, that's something worth waiting for. I fail to see the appeal of this slow agony. How unfortunate. Because thanks to you, and the time you bought us, the agony will be all the slower. Permission to take my leave, Captain. And if I refuse it? Are you trying to recruit me, Captain? Do you really think I'd take the King's shilling? <laughs> if I were to offer enough shillings, I'm sure of it. I need no new lieutenants. But if you wish, you may stay. This key unlocks the unused watchtower. You'll build it while you're here. On the one hand, a captain beaten by the world. On the other, his rival haunted and mutinous. In a fort besieged by vengeful spectres. Shit, there's something else. Something darker.
Banishes, may I have a word? Helen, something wrong? Apologies for disturbing your rest. I'm afraid it can't wait. What did you think of the captain? I saw an officer alone. A proud man turned to stone, perhaps by years of war. I saw a broken man. I did not see the tyrant you described. Inaction is tyranny. He will not act, but nor will he get the hell out of the way. I do not disagree, but the captain needs help. I too was a soldier, broken and haunted. With Antea's help, I recovered. Pennington may need the same. Leave Pennington to me. The good folk of the fort need your help. You are banishers. The dead, you'll have noticed, hammer at the gates. I would like you to go into the mines and find out what enrages them so. I would like you to do what the captain will not. And while we deal with the hordes of angry spectres, what shall you be doing? When the mines are purged, I'll oust Pennington. Where do we go? There is a second tunnel into the mines. The entryway was walled shut during the quarantine. Getting there will not be easy, but the barricade should fall without too much difficulty. After that, who knows? Underground again. Wonderful. If it soothes you, I too am taking a significant risk. The captain has a penchant for locking people up and leaving them to rot. Some years ago in New Eden Town, the captain locked up an innocent woman. A fate I wish to avoid. Pennington the Jailer. Do you speak of Deborah? What did he do? I was away from New Eden Town at the time. Rumours said she was a witch, I later heard. And so too did the captain. The court agreed. Who knows what urges drove the captain then? He is a secretive man, and always has been. We should go. Then it's agreed. When you're ready, you'll investigate the mines. Take the hoist to the waterfall, near the outpost you first found me. From there, it is not far to the tunnel. Keep your wits and all your luck about you. An innocent woman, jailed. I mean, as wolf belts go, it's pretty. But I've more Strange. than enough of them. The captain doesn't the strike me as a petty not short of wolf belt. Helen is right. What do I do with this? The truth lies you down there, it. somewhere. I suspect Deborah is at it again. Circumstances aside, this is quite romantic. Swarming hordes of spectres aren't to your liking. They are if I'm with you. Mind. Not as romantic as you'd thought, eh? Maybe now's the time to ask you to marry me. Try it and I'll cut the rope.
Is that the sound of a corpse cocking its gun? Away with you! Beautiful view. Every morning I wake to a better one. You try to join me, lady. I'll warn you. She'll definitely work. <sighs> Something's nearby. Where is it? Blocked. I hope there's another way in. That's unfit for us to cross.
you feel that? It's close. And precise. Well done. Vanishes. I see you found your way. Sebastian, what are you doing here? Difficult though it be to walk these dark tunnels, I'll guide you as best I can. And you sure you want to come? You don't have to. I must. For Helen. What shall we find down there? The rage of the Forsaken. They trusted him. He betrayed them. He abandoned them. I doubt they can be placated. We'll be seeing you. Very good. Whenever you're ready. find what you need. I hope. Pity. I was enjoying this wee promenade. down from here. Everything all right? Let's just get this over with. Pennington ordered the barricades fast. I barely had time to bid Helen farewell. That must have been hard. 
soldier is called on to sacrifice. I feel something close. Soldiers were angry. Soldiers weren't spared. Those not taken by sickness or thirst died of despair. Which one took you? Despair. Most definitely. These tunnels go surprisingly deep. In its heyday, it was quite the operation. You see this lift? It goes all the way down. Car upon car rose to the surface, piled high with ore. There's a strong spectral presence down there. A lot of us died down here. What the hell was that? Uh oh. Nice of you to join us, Sebastian. Care to explain what the hell we just heard? I... I can't. What now? Uh, I say we push past the blockade. Follow me, please. this a 
makeshift checkpoint. The halfway mark. Are they expecting to face a regiment? In a way. We knew the dying would try to fight. We had to keep them from infecting the rest. Charming. Can't blame a man for wanting to make it home alive. If you need a rest, this place is as good as any. Harsh rules, Sebastian. Yours? I regret the necessity. Why would Pennington cut off the food? He decided it was not worth saving. Damn him to help you. Reason enough for a spectre to rage. Press on. The living quarters are ahead. If you insist. I have another in sight. This miner was shot. Was there a mutiny? There was. We failed. Why did you not mention this before? My heart felt apologies. I suppose the memory was just too painful. What is that? This is no ordinary spectre, that's for sure. Perhaps in our pain, screaming to be free, we may change. More importantly, how do we break them? I see a weak link.
This isn't over yet. this. What's that mark mean? I've seen it in books. Necromancy. Corpse raising, spirit control, that kind of thing. Ever heard of a ghost able to raise the dead and control them? I thought they were myths. Perhaps I was wrong. But we do our work. Come on, let's break these chains. Spectral stains block the mechanism.
Pennington thought everything was fine. Really? He lied. He manipulated them all. He must face justice. We want proof. What more do you need? The captain must pay. Voices from the dead ripple here. They told us to stay put for a few days, and we listened. When days turned to weeks, we made do. Now food's running low, and they've bolted the doors. We must act now, before it's too late. Show them why they should fear banishers. Piss off! Don't fret. We're coming for you. This creature, I don't think you're ready to face it. Turn back. Why? I, I don't know. I thought... Maybe it should be. See you, whatever is down there. Where should we go then?
Something blocks the mechanism above the door. Can you get to it? concealed.
Down your weapon, Prospector, and stand away. I'll not say it twice. Hear me. I'm not your fool. Obey the order. Put the pickaxe down. Your uniform would protect your son. Your officer will bury us all. He'll bury us all. He'll bury us all. He meaning Pennington, right? Who else? Think you could take on a ghost? Watch out! Spectre possession! Sebastian, what is this place? It's nothing. It's... It's only... The people were angry. And for good reason. Rebel camp. Here. We change the guard when they bring the food. The old ones scarper while the new ones are still busy with the victuals. While they have their hands full, we take them. Weapons, sabotage plans? Just how bad was the revolt? Not as bad as Pennington burying us all alive. That's no answer.
All right, Sebastian, fess up. What's going on? What matters is that Pennington must pay. There is nothing else. What's this? A black market shopping list. Can't be. We had few rations. Many starved. Sebastian Priest, in the mine you would attend to the sick. Instead, you afflicted them. What? No. This is a, a heinous lie. I gave my life for You turned into a tyrant until your vault emerged among the exhausted survivors. They, they, they must have gone mad down in the dark there. Their rage found a target in me, the, the captain's man. I died innocent. I died a hero. You're a murdering coward. Blame Pennington all you want. We know it is a lie. I didn't. I, I never did that. It's not me. It's all a lie. I love Helen with all my heart. You must make Pennington pay for his crimes! You'll not get away with this, Sebastian! Come back here, you coward! I don't think he's coming back. Path is clear. We go deeper. I can't believe Sebastian lied to us all. To Helen. Is this why the creature is angry? I would be. Perhaps. Sebastian wants Pennington to be punished at all costs, and I'm not sure why. Christ, where are we now? Left to die in sickness and starvation. Helen was right. This was an atrocity. But she blamed the wrong man. A lot of men were locked in here. Left to the pit when you're restrained by the fear of falling.
the sight of them makes me wonder if their resistance was even worth it in the end. You're standing amidst their bodies with nothing but silence for your answer. What do you think? These must be Sebastian's remains. Curious. The priest said he was the last to die. Said he shot himself when hope ran out. But someone stove this fella's head in with a pike. This was no romantic suicide. This was bloody murder. Plus, there's no ghost tie. Look, the mark from before. No ghost tie. So why did he not pale and become a spectre like the rest? Sebastian told Helen a story. His prominent chest wound was part of it, but it's a fiction. He spun her a lie. I'm starting to doubt the lieutenant's ghost. I think it's an effigy of Sebastian sent to get close to Helen. Maybe even to Pennington. Not a spectre. Something more elaborate. But what? And why? Sebastian is a doll. Stuffed with stolen memory made by whatever lurks down here. It's leeching Helen's essence. We must tell her. Whatever about Helen. First we need to find the doll maker. The stink has long since gone, but I swear I smell it anyway.
again saw the sun. The thought scares you. Aye. Getting close. A safe harbor, should we need a moment's peace. ringing, like a hum. They left me here to rot. They'll not have me. These chains, an echo, I think. yours. The roots are mine.
Yes, just how I like it. That's locked. There must be a key. Vivid memory from the dead is somewhere near. rallying the wrath of lesser specters to its cause. This is about the agony of Deborah Comenius. Aye, and the guilt of the people of New Eden. Deborah, right? Pennington had you arrested and clapped you in chains. A broken heart looked away, forgotten, down in the dark, lift the heavy chains from her freely. If we do, will you talk with us?
No chit chat, eh? Here it comes. Her last strike weakened the chains. Free her. So close. The chains are coming undone. This is your chance. Her last strike weakened the chains. Free her. The chains are coming undone. This is your chance. Lift these chains from me! Overhead, the roof is crumbling. Down there. Our last strike weakened the chains. Free her! I'm right here, you know. I've got you. I can see the weakness. It's coming after anything standing in its way.
It's over. Go in peace. No peace. No pardon. Naught but darkness and decay. No. All this must stop and you must stop it. Dark decay and the maddest words of the worst of men. Whose words? Pennington's? Of men. Oh. 
when the maddening silence becomes the darkest night. The faintest voice is welcome as the dawn. Deborah. Minds for a lifetime. Can we go now? <clears throat> what was that thing? A puppeteer. Every dead thing we've met was controlled by its anguish. Sebastian, especially. The miners were wronged, but Pennington's dereliction of Deborah is what caused all this. So what now? Helen's grip on power was already fragile when we found out that her husband was a spy. Is Pennington any more trustworthy? He let everyone suffer so he wouldn't have to face his own cruelty. Uh, eventually, we'll get to take sides. <laughs> What is it? A rush after the fight. It'll pass. It's Sebastian, isn't it? You know I'm me, right? That I'm no poet. Aye. Do you, though? Aye. My head may say different, but I know it in my heart. Fresh air, at last. You did well down there, young man. Thank you, Master. It is justice. Justice long denied. Wait! Thought you'd been killed in the mines. Toon blow lie dead in the mines. Neither one more word, nor a move from you. The mines are cleansed of their madness. Which is more than I can say for this room. You banished the thing in a pit. Truly. It's gone. Aye. 
The puppeteer is no more. The siege is lifted. Don't get excited. You're still up to your neck in shite. You've still to answer for what you did, and what you did not. I do not answer to civilians, nor to mutineers. You will answer to the dead. Once a woman in chains cried out and you did not listen. This is why you are cursed. Confess. Your future, and the future of many, depends on it. I'll confess there is no future. I'll confess I led us here to make our final stand. And we still stand. To that I'll confess, and claim the credit. We fall one by one. Then we weep, we rage, but we stay loyal and true. Even the widows must stay true. In fear you dither while folk die. Soldiers will not long stay loyal to a coward. I do not fear a future already written. The die is cast. I dither not. I hold. I hold and watch the end unfold. There's more to this. An older guilt. A deeper fear. You may be to blame for the tragedy in the mines, Pennington, or you may not. But the puppeteer wanted you dead. Some years back, you accused a local woman of witchcraft. You locked her up. The puppeteer was quite angry about that. Fairfax Haskell, too, played a part in the killing of Deborah Comenius. He faced up to his wrongs. Now you will face up to yours. At last the die stopped rolling my number has come up. I'll tell it now. I'll tell it all. When you slandered her, you knew there'd be a witch hunt. Why'd you do it? There was no slander. It was true. She was corrupt. She was evil. And she was a school teacher. Someone had to think of the children. It's horse shit, but he seems to believe it. We're getting closer to the truth. You clapped her in irons and threw her in jail. You took her humanity. You recognized her in the puppeteer, didn't you? I'm sorry, puppeteer? That's what was in the minds, wasn't it? And you knew, didn't you? How long? For how long have you known? What I know and you do not would fill a library. Helen is misguided. Under Sebastian's malign influence, she will remain so. Yet Pennington is little better. Which way do you lean? I have faith in Helen Priest. Step down, Captain. Perhaps you may begin to wash your guilt away. Do what you must, and face the consequences. Cast the die. I will. As an officer, as a man. You brought a curse upon the people of New Eden. No. The fort needs a leader without blood on her hands. I'll do it. I'll place the blame where it belongs. Oh, 
life to the living. Death to the dead. Down with tyranny. Justice prevails. If we are to survive, there is much to do, and survive we shall. For the record, beyond that door, Captain Pennington was tried and executed for his crimes. We did what was needed. The story you tell is up to you. Looks like the Nightmare's curse is lifted here. Job done. How often, Abigail, must we have this fight? How often must we argue? We shall argue until you hear me. I hear you. So, what did Ceridian say when we first met her? Once we'd weakened the Nightmare's influence, we could use the Void to enter its lair. Deborah's grip on the settlers has diminished. We'll return to Ceridian's island. From there, the Void Breach will take us back to New Eden Town. Just like that, eh? Well, yes, just like that. Something bothering you. But aren't we rushing things a little? We've lost too much time already. We have a nightmare to confront, remember? Sometimes I hate the world. Another free woman, bright, sensitive, kind, murdered by a craven rabble too weak to face its own mediocrity. Cowards hiding behind fake virtue. And for what? They won't even say her name. Why? Why her? You said it yourself. Deborah was a victim of their fear. That's not enough. Her murder was another throw of a dice. Why is it always us who have to pay with our lives? Aye. You did. And I regret my failure to my dying day and after it too. I was not speaking of our situation. When I left Cuba, anything could have befallen me. I was bright, free, talented. No, I had the wrong tongue, the wrong sex, the wrong skin. I defied life. I expected so much more from the world. I was arrogant. Arrogant to believe I needed no one. To shut out my mother and experience curandera and listen instead to my sister. Your childhood friend. What happened? I had little and wanted more. A dangerous thing when you have our type of talent. Anything could have befallen me, but it didn't. This has been hard for you. For me too. Perhaps we should think of how far we've come together and take heart. I am dead, Rory. 
I am dead and Suna will be gone for good. You think I don't know this? So act like it. I'm not the enemy here. Look, all this is a lot to endure. We're both exhausted. I know I am. I cannot tire. I know. I know how hard it's been for you. You have no idea. None at all. I'll do my best to understand, if you'll let me. We should have faith. Look at us. We'll get to where we're going. Shut up, Red. Shut up. This isn't about... This isn't about what we have conquered or what we have achieved or how far we have journeyed. Look at us. Look at me. I loathe what I've become. Can't you see that? I was trying to help. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop apologizing. Good night. Antea. Antea. I would have gone with you. Not funny. I have to walk to the stupid bloody island. 